Hello everyone and welcome back to Airplane Mode. Today you guys, we are back with a brand new video, obviously, as you can tell because I'm posting this video. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a tutorial. It shouldn't take that long, hopefully. It's easy to understand. I know I was struggling a little bit to find a good tutorial on how to install what I'm going to show you today. Obviously, um, <laughs> you can read the title because I'm not telling you until I reveal my big announcement. So, obviously, number one, thank you for 200 subscribers. I know it's we're at 300 now, but thank you for 200 because I realized that I never actually gave you a formal thank you for that. And I already told you guys after I hit 100 that I'm not going to be doing special videos every time I hit 100 subscribers, but rather when I hit bigger milestones, like 100 was massive, so next when I hit 1,000, maybe then 10,000, 100, uh, 100,000, you guys, well, that's never gonna happen, but you guys get what I'm saying, so thank you so much for 200 subscribers, and thank you for 300 subscribers, we actually just hit that, thank you to the person that just subscribed, actually, I don't quite remember who it was, but it was definitely, um, kind of a surprise what was it anal foric and l go ahead and subscribe to him he doesn't have that many subscribers but it would make my day to see that he is definitely growing because of a shout out that i gave him anyway with that guys we're going to be doing obviously as i already said a tutorial and i'm pretty much just going to be taking a little bit of a break from the full flight tutorials because they don't really seem to do that well and i find that most people just skip um to the takeoffs and the landings which kind of to me, it, it doesn't, I mean, offend me at all. I'm totally, uh, totally cool with it. But, you know, I put in all that effort and then it's like to see that people aren't watching it. I mean, once again, it doesn't offend me at all. I'm totally cool with it. I pretty much do the same thing. But that's why I just don't really want to put in all that work if I really don't need to. So I'm going to be doing a lot more tutorials because they do definitely a lot better. Like my tablet tutorial is close to 7,000 views and what's it? Over 110, 120 likes. So I'm definitely pleased with that. But, um, yeah, so today, obviously, once again, we are doing a tutorial. Pretty much, we're just going to be installing the Avitab. Um, yeah, I think that's how you say it. Say it. Avitab. A-V-I tab. Whatever. We're going to be installing that because in the update for the Zippo 737-800, I think it's 3.31, they added the little Avitab thing, and you need the actual plugin for it, and there are some things that you need to configure before you actually... Well, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. You just install like any other plugin. However, I'm going to walk you through it, and there are a few little bonus things that I will be glad to show you as well. So with that, we're going to hop onto our browser. And all right, guys, now that we are on our browser, sorry, I realized that the intro took literally two minutes and like 34 seconds. I do apologize for that. Anyway, you're going to go ahead and hop onto explain.org, like the forms, because that's where you get all the free stuff, which is a good match for me because I am... Not very rich. <laughs> anyway, moving on from that. Um, I'm going to leave a link in the description. This guy, I'm actually going to copy right now. So copy. Where is it? Yep, right there. So I'm going to put that in the description below so you guys have no issue getting it yourself. So with that, pretty much, I mean, you can see this is not what it's going to look like on your Zippo. It's it's going to, they're going to have all these options, I believe, except for plain manual and notes. Maybe about, I don't know, but I don't think you have these two as far as I know, but they're going to be in another form. I'll show you that when we hop into the cockpit a little bit later in the video, but pretty much you can read all these features on your own. Pretty self-explanatory, honestly, it's just like any other plugin, so we're just going to go ahead, hit download the file, and it's going to go ahead and install. It does take a little bit to install because it is quite a bit of information, and yeah, so you get what I'm saying there. So I'll be back with you guys very, very shortly when it has completed downloading, which is pretty much right now, so never mind. Saves me a little bit of time. So once you have installed that and it starts flashing like that, then you're pretty much good to go, and you know that it is done. So we're going to go ahead, slide this over a little bit, drag this onto the desktop and we are done with that so with that we're just going to go ahead drag that into the corner and drag this into the corner so that they are very easily accessible so we're going to go ahead and open this up oh, sorry on my other monitor there so open up avatab yeah so it's just the zip file once you uh open just double click on it it's not that complicated as most people make it sound you have avatab inside pretty much all you're going to do with that is you're going to open up explain go to what's it out no not output sorry resources <laughs> down there go to plugins and here are all my plugins so you can see what i have actually you're just going to drag this into plugins right there there it is it's going to go there and you'll see that once you x out and x out of this don't worry it's going to be at the top in alphabetical order let's just go back to resources plugins and oh hmm i just realized i had avatar before 
and I installed, I think it was like 70 charts, because I wanted to, I constantly fly with the Alaska Airlines in X-Plane, I wanted to have all the charts to make it extremely realistic, and I just realized, oh wait, I have it in the recycling bin, hmm, <laughs> duh, never mind, sorry about that guys, anyway, you're gonna see that it sorts in alphabetical order if you have autogate, which you should definitely, I might put a link in the description for that, if I remember, anyway, so Avatab, right there, so, Pretty much, you have aircraft integration. I don't quite know what that is, to be honest with you. I I haven't really been concerned with that at all. You have all this and charts. That's the most important part. I feel like for this. So pretty much, you're only gonna want to be. Uh, you're only gonna want to put in PDF files. So I'm gonna give you a great link in the description down below. And pretty much all it is is airnav.com. So once you go to airnav, I, screw not secure. Forget it. Anyway, go to airports, and here you can type in either the airport name or the ICAO code. I'm just going to do Seattle, for example, because that is one of Alaska Airlines' main hubs. So the ICAO for that is KSEA, and once you hit enter there, you're going to find that it gives you all the information about that airport. And yeah, so it's definitely a really, really cool feature, but what you're really looking for is once you scroll down a little bit, it's going to be on the right-hand side, and it's going to say airport diagram. So once you have that there, you're just going to hit that little tiny text download pdf and once you click on that it's going to take you to another link and obviously here's your chart now i always used to just hit print and then would always print it but you know what forget it i don't really <laughs> care to do that anymore because i realize that they don't really do that in real life i don't think they have a whole bunch of charts and i think they just more do it on the tablet so once you do that you're just going to go ahead and click this little download icon right there and you're going to go ahead and name it. You can leave it at that if you really, really want to. I don't really care to. I don't really see the point in having it unnamed. Plus, that's what it's going to come at, uh, come up as in the tablet. So I would definitely recommend labeling it whatever you want. So what I do is KSEA or the ICAO space dash and then write Seattle. So just in case I don't know the city, then I know the ICAO or vice versa. If I don't know the ICAO, I know the city. So now you're going to go to wherever you have that saved. So in my case, uh, my case is going to be on my desktop, X-Plane 11, scroll down to resources, where is it, plugins right there, Avatab, charts, and you're going to hit save. Once you do that, it's going to download down there. That's not really important. You can go ahead and clear that. I'm going to go ahead and X out of that, but you guys get what I'm saying. Um, just quick before I do actually X out of it. For example, um, John F. Kennedy International Airport, KJFK, right there hit enter and you're going to scroll down and there you go see there's the chart and do the same exact thing and it's actually so it kind of makes it convenient it was really really nice and handy when i was installing all the charts for alaska airlines it's going to be um saving the folder that you installed the last one to so let's just do this kjfk and john or we'll just do new york because i don't think alaska no maybe they do fly to LaGuardia, whatever New York, enter, save, and you can go ahead and clear that. And now I'm actually going to X out of it. But you can see here that if we go to X Plane 11, we'll just open it up so I can give you guys actual proof. So X Plane 11, resources, plugins right there. Or, yep, uh, Avatab, and then charts. And you're going to see that they're right here. And yeah, that's pretty much the only important thing, in my opinion. There are a whole bunch of other little features that I'm going to give a brief rundown through of if that made any sense whatsoever once we get into the cockpit so i'm just going to go ahead x out of that um i'm going to save that actually i'll just put on my other monitor because i definitely don't want to be interfering um with the other one that i have in the recycling bin at all because i definitely want that back so anyway we're going to go ahead hit uh open up x-plane and that's going to load up and i'll see you guys very very shortly when we're pretty much ready to go with the the um avatab <laughs> so we're going to move to our tablet and if it is not on it should be right when you load up the 737 or the Zibo. it'll take like five seconds to turn on and once it's on you're gonna be met with this page right here obviously i already did an entire tutorial um for that so definitely go check that out um should probably help you i might do an updated version of it because maybe it'll get me some more views and also might be able to help some of you guys out but i think they just added this page i think that's all that they added as well as obviously the avatar but they also added a whole bunch of stuff here you can turn it on and off which is kind of a cool feature and yeah it just really looks a whole lot more like an actual tablet so anyway here's avatar right there not much to it there it is and we're gonna go ahead and click it and yeah that's what i was saying before there's not all the little features like what was it like plane help or whatever um there's just one page obviously um, there's nothing up there. So we're going to start off, obviously, obviously the credits, sorry. 
there's really not much to see in here. But a big thank you definitely to Avatab. They definitely made... Okay, seriously? Okay. Of course. We're just going to raise those guys a little bit there. Anyway, um, sorry about that. They guys, they really made an absolutely amazing uh, realism, realistic feature. I don't know how to say it, but they really did a great job. So shout out to them. Definitely go install this plugin if you haven't already. Anyway, moving to our map, this is a really, really nice feature. I've been using XMAP, which I might do a tutorial on how to use that because it is definitely a really cool feature. However, this is, I'd say, even cooler because it is actually in your plane. Or, yeah, it's in your plane and you have an actual model. Yeah, pretty much a map. Routes, this is an awesome feature. So not only can you use, use your keyboard for it, but um, you can also obviously type this in. But I'll give you an example. So let's just say we're departing from Seattle and arriving at Burbank. Hit enter there, and it gives you your entire route, distance. Oh, I haven't used this quite yet. Uh, I'm definitely considering it because even though uh, real pilots use flight plan, like like real printed flight plans, this could definitely be a really, really cool feature. And I'm super excited to try that sometime. Now, airport. This is also a really cool feature. So you can also use your keyboard, which I will do. So let's just say Seattle, because that's where we're where we are right now. It has all this information. I don't know why you can't zoom down or up or not or what the deal is. It's kind of annoying. But oh, what the? Okay. So, oh. Oh, so you just click anywhere. Okay, I see. So um, yeah, but it gives you all this information. It sh oh. That's nice. It gives you your altimeter, so you don't have to go to map, wait for that to load, hope that your sim doesn't crash, scroll all the way in, hit that, hit details, and find it there. No, it's really, really convenient, and I'm guaranteeing that this is a lot more accurate. Plus, you have an entire um, meter, meter, however you say that, ready for you to go. So, definitely a really cool feature. Definitely impressed with that. With that, let's go back here to charts. Bum, ba, da, da, bum, 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 bum. Anyway, so, sorry, that was really, really corny. Anyway, so you have the README, which is obviously just there. You can go ahead and delete that so that's not in your way. But then you have the two airports that you installed. If you click it just once, then you have the chart. So, thank you, AirNav, for doing that. Definitely appreciated. So that's about where we are right now. But this has saved me a lot. Like, when I'm flying out of JFK and I want to use, what's it, the um, taxi signs, whatever. Um, I can actually use the alphabet, and it's definitely a really nice feature, so it's like, okay, I'm right here, so taxi via Bravo, what's it, Bravo, Charlie, whatever, to 16th Center, you get what I'm saying, but then you have that, and it's just really, really convenient, JFK, I mean, that's what I'm saying, like, look at all that, so, you know, it's definitely a very handy feature, but that's pretty much about it for Avatar right there, I'm gonna go ahead and shut down x because I'm pretty much done with that for today and i'll see you guys out on my home screen all right you guys that is going to do it for this video i really really hope you enjoyed it and were able to find something out of it maybe helpful maybe not helpful hopefully that's not the case i hope that it really was helpful and that you were able to obtain some sort of information about it please definitely download it a bunch of links will be or like two links will be down in the description below as to where you can access AirNav and also the actual plugin itself uh, I don't know if maybe I'll do the Zibbo. I don't know. Yeah, I'll do the Zibbo. <laughs> also, a link for the Zibbo will be down below. But with you guys, with that, you guys, sorry. Um, yeah, we hit 200. No, we hit 100. We hit 200. We're at 300 and now. Thank you guys so so much for all your constant support. You really do mean the world to me, and I would not be making videos, um, honestly, if it weren't for you guys. Like today, I wasn't really feeling like making a video, but seeing that I was getting nonstop su uh, support made me just feel like, okay, you know what? I just need to make a video, bust it out, get it done, and here it is, you guys. Hopefully, once again, you can obtain some knowledge. If you did enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. Don't hesitate to share for other people. Maybe if you think some people could use some help with this particular topic or just need a little bit of wisdom on x plane 11 and the zibbo in general but with that once again thank you guys so much for watching the video once again please subscribe like down below if you liked it and i will see you guys all very soon in the next video